made an effort to involve everybody in the community. We went into barber shops, beauty parlors, bars. We made sure that everybody had a, a voice. So it grew out of the neighborhood. It literally grew out of the neighborhood and was adopted by Kennedy. The way ahead, as I will stress again and again, is not easy. It is complex and complicated and fraught with difficulty. Ahead of us are not weeks or months of work, no quick or easy triumphs, but long years of painful effort with many setbacks, with constant temptations to relax, to give up, and to stop trying. Still, I believe that we will all persevere and that you will succeed. This is a unique effort, the only one of its kind and scope in the country. And we have to show that it can be done. The most recent community development theories are they're trying to do things comprehensively. It's funny because they talk about it, that's a new thing. We knew that. We knew you couldn't just do one. So Restoration was the first group that combined the cultural activities and the social life. It's given me a place to go after school. It's given me life skills, which is important. And it just gave me a reason to keep pushing forward. We have everything. We have art, dance, drama, music. There are kids on, you know, on the street that have nothing to do, they just waste their time. Mm -hmm. So they can, this restoration will be a place for them to come to and actually learn about the arts and where we, our people came from and that we just, you know, we have, we have so much culture. When I first came to bed it was a very exciting place to be, particularly for African Americans. And uh, there was a lot of excitement. I see that same excitement re-emerging. Right now we seem to be riding a wave as if we're ascending again to the heights that they once served. Sometimes we lose sight of the past, you know, where we've come from and because you're living in the day, you're living in the here and now and sometimes we're not kept aware of, of how we got where we are. So it, it's a struggle, as they say, as I say. There are far too many uh, who are in poverty or who are working poor, who, and that should not be in the richest country in the world, most powerful country in the world. That should not be. It is a wonderful community comprised of citizens that care deeply about their community. It's one of the greatest neighborhoods in New York. The wall that separated the plaza from Fulton Street is down. It's opening up the plaza, and I, I think it's more than just symbolic. Restoration is back on track in, in such a powerful way, and that is good for Bedford-Stuyvesant, but it's also you know, just great for New York. Mm -hmm.